All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today, hanging out with these two Proton Kits. Inokin recently released an updated version of their Proton Kit. I've had the original Proton Kit for a while now, and it's easily become one of my go-to favorite regulated mods. I like it, I like the clicky button, I like the joystick navigation, I really like this beautiful display on it. The newer Proton Kit right here, these mods are virtually identical, but it's the same switch, meaning it's click clicky at the top and not clicky at the bottom. The back still has that sort of like faux textured carbon fiber look to it. Same all the way around, same all the way around. Same screen, same navigation joystick menu, same spring-loaded 510, same battery door on the bottom. They just come in more colors now and they come with these new Scion coil heads, or not Scion coil heads, Scion tank and Plexus mesh coil heads inside the Scion tank. This is Inokin's first like sub-ohm mesh coil head tank. There's a lot of these already out there on the market and I think Inokin did a really good job with these coil heads and we're gonna compare these Plexus mesh coil heads to some of my other favorite mesh coil heads when we get back out to normal view. But I just wanted to show you real quick how to set this up and what you're gonna get when you buy it. So here's your big Scion tank. It does only come with a bubble glass option but for some reason this particular bubble glass doesn't bother me quite as much it's not shaped so much like a fish bowl. It has more like harder angles on it, which I actually like. Out of all of the bubble glass I've tried, this is the least offensive to me. Because otherwise, overall, I'm not a big fan of bubble glass at all. She got a big 810 drip tip in the top. This slides like that for real easy filling and slides back into place. It doesn't have any sort of click to it, which a click would just be a little bit more reassuring that that was actually closed. But it is real easy to do. It's real smooth, real glidey, and it does feel like it has enough pressure to really stay shut. And these coil heads on the inside are gigantic. They are triple mesh coil heads. And I know you're not going to be able to see this on camera, but the mesh on the inside looks a little bit more like a chain link fence rather than actual mesh. There's a lot of open space in there rather than being a real tight, tight, tight knit mesh. And of course you get a spare bubble glass as well as another spare coil head. And this is a single mesh coil head. And I'm not sure if you can see the inside there, but it's more like a traditional mess. Mesh, much, much closer together, much tighter circles in there. These are both Canthal. This is a 0.15 and the triple is a 0.13. The single mesh works fine, but for me, for my money, the triple mesh is where it's at. You're just gonna get a better vape all around, in my opinion, and a much more flavorful vape. With vaporizing e-liquids, the more surface area you have that's getting vaporized, the better your flavor is going to be, which is why things like alien wires taste better than just round wire builds. It's the same thing in this case. The triple is just going to give you better flavor. And that's the one that I've been using. Super simple. Coil head just goes in. On the bottom, you have a nice glidey AFC. There is quite a bit of resistance to it. It doesn't click in any way. It stops at the full open and full closed positions. And if you wanted to rock it about halfway open, I'm confident that this would stay where you want it to. Got a good amount of resistance on this AFC, man. But you plug your coil head in. You don't have to really crank it down there. Just finger tight is more than enough. And then I just prime my coils by just putting some juice all over this coil head. You want to get it into a little each individual chamber. You don't want to go crazy and flood it, but just some juice. I like to put the tip of the bottle directly down into those little chamber holes and kind of squeeze it while I'm kind of pulling it out. Just want the internals of those meshes to be, you know, saturated with juice. Screw this whole thing together and now you can slide this open and fill it the rest of the way up. One of the great things about these new Plexus mesh coil heads is they're compatible with all of the previous Inokin Scion tanks, the Scion and the Scion 2 tank as well. So if you have those tanks, you can get these awesome new coil heads and put them in your tank. And with this bubble glass on here, it's a four mil capacity. I don't love this giant honeycomb drip tip, but it's fine. We're going to use it for now. It is 810 compatible, but your 810 drip tip does need to have O-rings on it. So these DHD nub tips fit in there and work perfectly 
shapely, but let's say something like this that doesn't have any O-rings. No, I mean, it's gonna sit in there, but it doesn't hold on in any way. There's no internal O-rings in here, so your drip tip does have to have O-rings. So yeah, that's really all there is to this thing. I'm gonna attach it to this new Proton mod, and we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this, and we're gonna compare it to some other mesh coil head tanks. Normal view. These Plexus mesh coil heads are just delivering a really, really good vape. I feel like lately we have had so many good sub-ohm tanks with so many really good sub-ohm tank coils that I wanted to kind of compare like the top three that I've been using. Like how does the Plexus mesh coil head stack up to the ones I've already been using and already love? First things first, the new Inokin Proton kit is Awesome. It, it, it's the Inokin Proton kit that I've already been using and already been loving. It's the, I mean, the, the mods are basically indistinguishable from the old version to the new version. The new versions come in a few different colors. It comes in this blue gray color. It comes in like a red and black color and it comes in like a white and rainbow color all with matching Scion 2 Plexus coil head tanks that come in the kit. I am a huge fan of the Proton kits. I, I think they're are just fantastic. If you don't have any regulated mods, if you don't have any dual 18650 regulated mods that come with a sub ohm tank, I think that the Inokin Proton kit, you just can't go wrong with it. I love the display. I love the interface. If you want to know all about that stuff, you can check out my old Inokin Proton kit review where I go over all of the menu, all of the interface, but it's awesome. Beautiful screen, beautiful menu, easy to navigate with the little joystick. It, it's, it's just a wonderful device in my opinion. But honestly, what really has me excited is these Plexus mesh coil heads. You saw them down in the uppy closey. They're like a triple core mesh coil head and it's not quite mesh. It kind of looks like I said more like a chain link fence. The vape experience, the quality of vape that I'm getting from this particular tank and these particular coil heads it is 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 stupendous. I'm trying to think of <laughs> I'm trying to think of more adjectives to use other than like stellar and great. Wonderful. It's a wonderful vape experience and it's also not as loud as some other sub ohm tanks. And like a lot of these new mesh coil head based tanks, you don't need to take a really really hard hard drag on it. You can earn, you can, you know, kind of relax your draw a little bit and still get a nice big cloud and some really nice flavor. And it's also fairly quiet of a tank. So I got 3 of my my favorites that I've been using here recently. I have the Scion 2 with the Plexus Mesh coil heads that we've been talking about. I also have my Falcon Resin Artisan Edition. This is the M3 triple coil head with the organic cotton and the wood pulp that I've been using for about a week now. And then I have this, the Vaporesso with their new coil heads. What's the name of this tank? Skur. This is the Skur tank with the new Vaporesso coil heads that have that internal sort of airflow thing, these coil heads are still only one piece of mesh all the way around, but it does have this interesting like internal sort of uh, brass AFC thing. If you wanna see all about that, I do have a review for the Vaporesso Lux kit with the Skur tank already on my YouTube. But these are like the two mesh coil heads that I, I have really loved and really enjoyed. Maybe the Falcon Resin Artisan M3 triple coil heads a little bit more than the Vaporesso ones, but I've been using both of these fairly evenly and getting very similar enjoyable experiences from them. And and I'm just really interested to see how the Inokin Plexus mesh coil heads kind of compare to these. So first things first, I guess we'll just start with the Vaporesso Skrrr tank. It's a little bit louder. The flavor is a little bit lower just because it has that one piece of mesh on the inside, which I'm not a huge fan of just using one piece of mesh, although the vape from it is real nice. The flavor I find to be generally pretty lacking. So the Skur tank is nice and I really enjoy the vape I get from it, but I don't think that the flavor from this coil head 
even comes close to either the Falcon or the Inakin Plexus Mesh coil heads. And also this tank is a little bit louder than the other ones and you kind of have to drag on it a little bit harder I've found. Comparing that to the Falcon Artisan Resin, the M3 Triple Mesh Coil Heads. Beautiful. It's just, the, the, it's like a night and day difference. These M3 Mesh Triple Coil Heads from the Falcon Resin Artisan Tank are just spectacular. They are just top notch. Like I said, I've been using this for about a week. I think I've put roughly 30 to 40 mils of juice through this coil head and it still shows no signs of slowing down. It hasn't gotten leaky on me. It hasn't gotten gurgly on me. It hasn't started degrading and started tasting like wet cardboard yet. Still going really strong. Yeah, and comparing that directly to the Plexus Mesh coil heads, God, they're so evenly matched. They are so evenly matched. That was just a double toot, just for fun. Going back and forth between these, it's really hard to pick one, honestly, that I like more than the other. I feel like the Inokin Plexus Mesh Coil Heads edge out the Falcon Resin just a little bit, like, just a hair. And I think that's only because this particular coil head in this Falcon tank is old. It's a little bit older. It's already had a lot of juice put through it. And this one that I'm using in this Scion 2 tank is brand new. It's brand new. The cotton hasn't degraded and it's just wicking like a champion. And honestly, both of these tanks have a very similar like drag style. It's not as intense. You got to chill. You got to slow your roll a little bit and take a little bit more of a relaxed draw. Additionally, both of these coil heads don't require a whole lot of power. They're both 0.14 and I've got them both at 70 watts. Now this isn't going to be super difficult if we're going on just pure aesthetics like how does the Falcon Artisan Resin look compared to the Skur tank, compared to the Inokin Scion 2 tank. I mean the Inokin Scion 2 tank wins hands down. It's just a cleaner looking tank overall. It's got a better shaped bubble glass on there that honestly doesn't really bother me, whereas the bubble glass on both of these tanks both kind of bother me. And I honestly much prefer the filling method of this Scion 2 tank compared to those other two tanks. It's a real simple, just slide, fill, slide, you're done. So yeah, that's it. That's the new Inokin Proton Kit with the new Scion 2 tank with the new Plexus Mesh coil heads. And it's... Pfft. It's stellar, you guys. It's a stellar tank and a stellar mod. Honestly, even with all this comparison, all of these mods are great mods. All of these tanks are great tanks. And I'm just excited that we now have like some new stuff happening with Subohm tanks. Subohm tanks became so stagnant for so long. It was like the same thing just over and over. And now that there's mesh that's kind of been injected into the Subohm tank world, now we're starting to see some real innovation, an actual like innovation in the vape quality you're getting from your tank. These might be, these might be well on their way to becoming like my new favorites. And I, and I know I say that like the Falcon Artisan Resident, like that was my favorite until I got this Inokin. And now I really like these Inokin coil heads. Ultimately, the decision is yours to make, but no matter what you choose, you're going to have a real great vape. For me personally, I like multi-core mesh coils above coil heads that just utilize one singular piece of mesh. I, I think I may have already Already said that a few times in this video. So enough rambling from me. I'm going to wrap this up. It is what it is. New Inokin Proton Kits. It's the best version of the Proton Kit and the Plexus Mesh Coil Heads are giving me uh, a good vape, a stellar vape, a wonderful vape experience. But yeah, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not allowed to put links in the description anymore, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo to find any of these products. But that's what I got for today one more time. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.